Hello everyone. In the previous video related to GitLab, I showed how we can write our own webhook and integrate it with GitLab. For example, I said in case of merge request how we can use it, but actually this video is continued to previous one. I improved it and at the same time integrated with Slack. Ijira already was integrated there and at the same time integration to attach some to Jira too. So just imagine, we have some repository where right now we will try to open merge request. It doesn't matter, DevOps engineer or developer. We, when we, so by default, if you will integrate GitLab with Jira, the string which must present inside of the description to communicate Jira ticket commands merge request inside of Jira ticket, it uses string in a style like as closes project key and ticket number which present inside of Jira. So with this way, I, inside of webhook, I will catch this from description at the same time catch information for user mail. Why I'm trying to point this moment because do the GDPR, GitLab each time to the response of webhook, I mean in request body, will not present email if each user will not go edit their own profile to set their email like as public. Of course, via API we can iterate all users and activate uh, their emails, but it's not a good case. I analyzed all stuff and found a way to catch name and surname from a request body of the GitLab and for a format, this was a style which defined email inside of Slack to catch user ID actually. So with this way, I catch user ID of the each user inside of Slack. But simulation is like as this. In case of right ticket will be present here, I just, so I mean validation will be really success. I mean ticket present here. I'm going to generate on the fly some file just for the simulation at, attached to this Jira ticket at the same time write comment with a red color to see it's happened from pod which works right now inside of Kubernetes. But in case of fail, it's automatically going to close this merge request and write information to the Slack which we see here. It will generate on the fly merge request URL as we see and even with this line we can see with a blue color, it's actually a have generated link of the merge request, which is closed already. So the same thing will be happened here in case of, I selected it to serial, a new message will come in case of wrong ticket definition here. So now to not spend time, I will create one new merge request, but even if I will go refresh page, we see no comment definition here empty place and at the same time no attached files. I will do create merge request. So merge request created if I will do refresh page again. As we see files generated on the fly attached here. So the code which works right now inside of Webhook communicated with Jira got from the valid Jira project key and ticket number. And summary revert returned back like as attachment to the Jira. At the same time, wrote information comment written by the hook. So it is just simulation which I wanted to show you. I will delete it to not forget, of course. Same time. Delete this one too. And in case of if merge request will not store right ticket name. I mean, if I will edit to something wrong here, try to save change. As you see, merge request closed. At the same time, it, it catch reformat username from request body, reformat it to write generate email by the email get user ID and write back. So actually from message here we can see it's returned to our Slack merge request closed and it's URL of this and definition of the Jira ticket like as which I wrote here yeah, it's wrong. So little bit I will go to God's uh, code side to explain. I will not go in deep because if I will try to explain line by line it will take very long time. 
So by name we can understand geoticket validation. Return mail by name, which I said before from request body, I will got a name and surname reformatted back like as email format to catch user ID from Slack. Post to Slack and close my request with a notifi notification to uh, Slack actually, the way I'm using post to Slack. So it's webhook definition function 2. That's it actually. I hope it will be useful.